Hello you guys! Welcome to another episode of I Watched It So You Don't Have To, the series for anyone that's looking for yet another movie review from someone on the internet. Maybe one that's gonna help you decide to watch a movie or not. This time we're talking about the movie that took me a while to talk about, you guys. It actually took so long to talk about that the movie is streaming now. Let's finally talk about The Blackening. Seven friends reunite over the Juneteenth holiday weekend only to find themselves targeted with a very problematic game. This is a game where you win or you die. Trapped in their rented cabin, the seven friends must use their street smarts and knowledge of pop culture against the murderer to survive. I love when studios hit that subgenre nail on the head. This is that movie. Horror comedy done well is such a fun genre because you get that horror, the violence, the suspense, the tension, and the scares. But then you get thrown off balance and completely relaxed by the comedy that is actually funny. I really want to talk about the dynamic and chemistry of this cast, but that will definitely get me talking about the acting. So let's just talk about the comedy first, then we'll talk about the horror, and we'll go from there. If you've been here for a minute, then you know. And if you're new here, hello, hello, welcome. I'm gonna let you know right up front that I am not a fan of immature humor. Nine out of 10 times, it just doesn't land for me. So it's always refreshing to get a movie with thoughtful humor. This movie is witty, clever, and smart. It delivers simple and complex moments between these characters. I especially love that element in a ton of movies, but really here, I love it, that comedic, foreshadowing with an excellent payoff that had me in tears, you guys. This movie is hilarious. Full stop, period. Let's get into the horror. In one of my recent videos, I mentioned that I thought this movie was going to be more violent than I expected, and that's really because the marketing was really leaning into that comedy. Being perfectly honest, it wasn't as violent as I expected, but it was perfect for what it delivered. I'm not gonna say the horror and the comedy balanced, but the horror element was there. Thinking of one moment specifically, this moment could have been painful to watch, but the moment subverted my expectations entirely, and it turned into one of the funniest moments in the movie. For that and moments like that, I'm not even mad. I would say that the violence is there, but don't expect a bloodbath. So, we've covered the comedy, and we covered the fun horror element, now let's get into this cast. I mentioned a few minutes ago about how I wanted to talk about their dynamic and chemistry, and I love watching movies where it seems like the cast had fun. Right off the bat, I will say that I don't recognize any of these actors and actresses, but they do have a lot of movies and TV shows that they've been in. The acting overall is really good. I think they did great with the material they had, and I especially liked the relationship between Grace Byers Allison and Antoinette Robertson's Lisa. Lisa and Allison are fantastic, and you immediately understand the dynamic of the friend group and their relationship. There's a lot of subtle and more explosive moments between the two that I absolutely love. And honestly, I love watching the whole cast because they are all hilarious. Speaking of hilarious, X Mayo as Shanika, fantastic. I really love how so many characters just spoke their mind and that opened up a lot of the actors to some very entertaining moments. Finishing this section off, I want to talk about Melvin Gregg as King and Jermaine Fowler as Clifton. These characters are so important to the cast and to the story. I love the presence of the actors as well as their characters, the humor as well as the layers that they bring to this friend group. So, I watched it so you don't have to, but was it worth the watch? In my opinion, Yes, but this is definitely one of those movies where you need to know what you're getting into first. For all the movies that I talk about, I do look at reviews around this point in the video, and that's because I want to get a perspective on the movie that's different from my own. So if I like a movie, then I look at negative reviews. If I don't like a movie, I look at positive reviews. For this one, there are a lot of reviews that directly oppose all the points that I made earlier on why I liked this movie. So this is one of those that I think you like it or you don't, and it very much depends on you because of the sensitive topics like racism and politics, just to name a few. If you're interested in anything we've talked about so far in the video, if you wanna see a horror comedy with a strong black cast, if you wanna see a comedy movie where the jokes actually land, 
If you don't mind crude language, then definitely take the time to watch this movie. If the N-word being used regularly throughout really bothers you, if you don't like political commentary in film, if racial comments throughout really bother you, or if you don't like a predictable movie, then I would skip this one. But I will say that the movie, it is a lot of talk of race and the N-word, drugs and drinking, but it's more than that. It's the friend group and their history. All right, movie fans, that brings us to the end of the video. If you're listening on the podcast, thank you very much. Check out the description below for a link to the podcast. If you're watching here on YouTube, leave the video a thumbs up if you like the video so I know you like the video. Let me know in the comments down below, have you seen The Blackening yet? If you saw the movie already, what did you think about it? In the description, I linked a TikTok by Megan's World and I mentioned earlier, but she says in her TikTok that this movie is predictable and I 100% agree. I will put out there though that predictable doesn't mean a bad movie. She also says that the movie is geared toward a black audience and that a lot of the jokes are inside jokes. And I kind of agree, I kind of don't, I'm on the fence. I think it's geared more toward people who are familiar with black media and I'm talking about like TV shows and movies, which could be anyone. I found myself laughing at a lot of the jokes, like the one mentioning Jordan Peele's incredible film, Get Out, as well as Scream 2. Jokes that were lost on me were the ones talking about TV shows, like one of them was talking about friends. I've never seen it. Maybe cultural nuance will be lost on some people too, but a lot of the jokes are general enough that anyone will get it. Another thing Megan's World mentions is that this movie is unserious and I totally agree. This movie would have been so bad if it tried to take itself seriously and the fact that it doesn't really makes this movie so much better. Finishing this section off, let me just say that I grew up watching Scary Movie and I love, well, I love most of the films, but I have to say, just beware of anyone telling you to just watch Scary Movie instead of watching The Blackening. I can see why the suggestion is made, but again, I'm not a fan of that immature humor and the scary movies have a lot of that. Those movies are hilarious and I do like them for the most part, but The Blackening tackles a lot in a short one hour and 36 minutes and it's more, I would say elevated than scary movie in a lot of ways. But let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next movie that I'm going to be watching for you. I've been letting you guys know that I've got tickets for Mission Impossible and Barbie, but I recently got tickets for Haunted Mansion. I'm still trying to see the new Insidious movie and I'm still working on that podcast exclusive for Greenland. So I hope you'll join me here on YouTube to talk about all of those movies and the podcast for those exclusive episodes. You can always check out the community tab here on YouTube or my Instagram for more updates. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching. You can catch a new episode every Friday. But until the next video, spread positivity, be safe, take care of yourself. And if you find yourself in a suspicious situation, just don't split up. Also, don't try to go anywhere on your own. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.